This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at acid deposition. We'll start the video by looking at the acidity of rainwater. Rainwater is naturally acidic with a pH of 5.6. In this equation, we see the reaction between carbon dioxide and water to produce carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. This reaction occurs in the atmosphere where atmospheric carbon dioxide reacts with water. The formation of carbonic acid means that rainwater is naturally acidic. Acid deposition has a pH of less than 5.0. In this table, we can see the two types of acid deposition, that is dry deposition and wet deposition. Dry deposition consists of acidic gases and particles, whereas wet deposition consists of acid rain, fog and snow. So to summarize, rainwater is naturally acidic with a pH of 5.6, whereas acid deposition has a pH of less than 5. Next we look at some sources of acidic gases, such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. So starting with sulfur dioxide, which is produced in power stations and volcanoes. When coal that contains sulfur is burned in a power station, we have the formation of sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is also produced during a volcanic eruption. This is a natural source of sulfur dioxide. Next, we have the oxides of nitrogen. Nitrogen monoxide can be produced in internal combustion engines and by lightning. In an internal combustion engine, nitrogen and oxygen react to form nitrogen monoxide. This is made possible by the high temperature inside the engine. Once they have been produced, these gases react with water in the atmosphere to produce these four acids. When sulfur dioxide reacts with water, we have the formation of H2SO3, which is sulfurous acid, or H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid. When oxides of nitrogen react with water, we have the formation of HNO2, which is nitrous acid, or HNO3, which is nitric acid. So next, we'll look at the formation of these acids in more detail. So we'll start by looking at the formation of sulfur dioxide. In this equation, sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. In the next equation, the sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form H2SO3, which is sulfurous acid. Alternatively, the sulfur dioxide can react with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide and the sulfur trioxide can then react with water to form H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid. Next, we look at the oxides of nitrogen. In this equation, we have the reaction between nitrogen gas and oxygen gas to form nitrogen monoxide. In the next equation, we have the reaction between nitrogen monoxide and oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide. The nitrogen dioxide then goes on to react with water to form two acids. They are HNO3, which is nitric acid, and HNO2, which is nitrous acid. Alternatively, the nitrogen dioxide can react with oxygen and water to form nitric acid. So let's end the video with a summary. In this table, we have the acidic gas, the sources, and the acids formed. Starting with sulfur dioxide, the sources are combustion of coal that contains sulfur, and volcanic eruptions. The acids formed are either H2SO3 sulfurous acid or H2SO4 which is sulfuric acid. For the oxides of nitrogen, the sources are internal combustion engines and lightning. And the acids formed are HNO2 which is nitrous acid and HNO3 which is nitric acid. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at the effects and reduction of acid deposition.